Hey guys, uh, today I'm doing a review. It's a user requested review of my Pulip Romantic Alice. She came out, I believe, in 2011, and she was out of stock for quite some time on Pulip Style, so I had to wait patiently for her to come back. Um, and now she's here, super excited. I will cover her stock as usual and then talk about the doll. Um, I'll start with her hair piece here, her bow, and I won't take it off because it's actually tied very tightly around her neck. So I'll tip her forward here so you can see. A very pretty brown ribbon, lots of layers here, and I love the off-white kind of cream-colored trim. And like I mentioned, it does go around her neck and then ties in the back, and I just thought it's staying on her head, unlike some of the other Alice's that have the the headband that constantly falls off, so I'm gonna leave it. Um, her outfit is just adorable. I can see why this doll, and uh, you know, they came out with two versions, actually. There's a blue version, which is this one, and then there's a pink version, and the pink version is rather hard to get your hands on. But they have similar dresses. Is, this is like one of the cutest little outfits I've ever seen. Lots of details here, you can see, um, layers of just pretty, pretty lace. Um, this is just adorable. I'm not sure if you can see that, but it is this little belt. It's like this little chain link, and it's got charms on it. A little teacup, probably Mad Hatter, right? And then there's a little crown for the Red Queen, and then this little key, and I'm thinking that's like the White Rabbit. So it really ties in this fabulous theme of like Alice in Wonderland. Um, the dress itself, so the top layer, uh-oh, we've fallen. The top layer here is um, kind of an off-white. Let me hold her here. And then the dress underneath is blue. You can see that kind of, sort of a teal, maybe a turquoise blue. And then the back, all this here. You can see just the back of the dress so that the front part is really an apron. Really, really lovely dress. Ooh, 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 I forgot. Let me put this back on here so you can see her little charm around her neck. It's one of my favorite things. I forgot it. It says made with love. These are real metal charms. I just think that's such a fantastic detail. Okay, so besides her dress, underneath her dress here, she just comes with these little sheer panties. And then her little socks are striped. And then she has some of the cutest stock shoes I think I've seen. They're these cute little Mary Janes that are black and then they have little brown heels. So even though they're just little plastic shoes, they just still great detail. All right, let me put you down for just a second because she does actually come with this additional piece as if her dress is not elaborate enough. This is kind of a skirt I think that's supposed to go along the back, and I just want to show you this because the lace is just sensational. I think it's a little too much for my girl to be walking around with this, but I just think it's so incredibly well made. I mean, I almost wish I had a second dress out of that fabric. All right, so, okay, so let me talk about this wig because there is a lot of it. <clears throat> it reminds me a little bit of Pulip Tifona, Tifona, in that it is blonde, it is wavy, it's a little bit brighter in yellow, it is incredibly unruly, and it is just beautiful. I mean, she's got enough hair for two pull-up dolls. She could share with a sister, and they would still have big, thick hair. It sheds quite a bit. I'm always pulling out these, like, stray hairs but uh, it's worth it. It's just beautiful, really makes a statement. Okay, her face, stubborn bow. Her face is really, really sweet. Um, she has a lot of these kind of loose lashes, these kind of um, feathery lashes that I think are just beautiful. It almost looks like, um, she's like a custom doll, you know, like somebody hand painted those on. She has light uh, face up, and I really especially love that she has these brown eyes. I think it would have been very easy to give Alice blue eyes, and I think it's a nice change that she has brown eyes. And then her eyelids. What? 
cute. Love this. I love that they're blue. I expected them to be maybe a light shade of pink or, you know, because she is dressed like a little girl, maybe, she, you know, they're just a plain color, but I think that blue is just fantastic. It's like a nice little bonus. Okay. Would I recommend this doll? Absolutely. Not even a question. In fact, I would recommend a doll like this as a potential first doll. You know, maybe you're looking to get started collecting. This doll is just beautiful, head to toe. The stock, the doll, this crazy wig. She's just so pretty. It's hard to put into words. Uh, if you have any questions about Romantic Alice, please let me know. Thanks.